There's some uh, rebar in there with concrete buried in the ground right here on the on the ruins of the Berghof. There's the wall. And that's it. Blown up in 1952. And left into a turn into a beautiful, beautiful park. Yeah, last time I was here it wasn't this clean and this preserved. You can see a lot of concrete, a lot of shit. That's probably one of the, eh, who knows. Some little mushrooms. Okay, I guess down there where I was, the terrace was up here. So down there was uh, the car park where I, where I enter, where I park my SUV. Yeah, this is, this was the terrace up here. Of course, those, those trees were not there. You can see the beautiful view this uh, maniac had. Amazing peaks over there. And uh, it's just amazing. Uh, right above, above the Zoom Turk and across the road, they built a big, big hotel, the Kepinski uh, Hotel, and a golf course and everything. And that's where. Uh, uh, in the grounds of uh, where once stood the house of uh, Bormann, the ass kisser of Hitler, the biggest ass kisser of Hitler. Well, continue on. There's what is left of the Berghof. It is said that I read about this uh, house. It was not a pretty house because uh, the private wanted to keep uh, his original little house or, uh, as much as possible. So he just built on top of it and he turned the Berghof into a horrendous mass of shit, basically. There's the Zoom Turken. You can stay in there, it's still a hotel. Right after the war, the family, the, the daughter of the owner, original owner, reclaimed it and the government of Germany, or aided by the Americans, uh, returned the property to the original owners. They, they rebuilt it and turned it into a hotel again. You can stay there for 70 to 90 euros a night and uh, be right there at the barracks of the SS. <laughs> 